Jeez. Buddy, you brought me a coffee. I'd be, meet someone here at 10.30 for this fridge here. Eric calls me, says, hey, I got a washer for you if you want it, and drop it off. Oh, for sure. Drop it off. Guy's supposed to be here at 10.30. Now he's changed the time for 11.30. No big deal. And he brought me a GE washer. Looks pretty new. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't know what's wrong with it. But for 30 bucks, I think I can give it a go. Same as the other one I got there. Doesn't look too bad. We'll find out what's wrong with it today, guys. Uh, also, two dishwashers. One works, one is leaking water. I'm not sure. This one is leaking water. So we'll find out what's going on here. If, if I can't get this, part's always good to have. So we'll get this cleaned up. We'll pull. Oh, shit. It is garbage. Fuck, I didn't see that. The whole button's missing. That, fuck, man. Jesus Christ. These are, I should stay away from these dress washers because it's hard to see what's wrong with these before you... Oh no, what the hell? I can probably cut that off. Or oh, it's just the plastic shit. I can cut that off, it's not a big deal. What that is. Definitely needs a good cleaning. Okay, I'll focus on this. Holy shit, man. Parts, I guess. God damn it. All right. Oh, what a crazy day. I'm making space and I'm getting more shit. And that fridge is gone. Common size fridge for the contractor who is flipping appliances. I mean, renting apartments. Rental companies keep coming to me. All right, I just paid my rent and I made it back almost on that fridge. Whew. They come to me, hey, your rent's due. Yeah, I know my rent's due, no problem. I didn't want to go in there because I died that I can't stand is in the office. So I gave him my cash and he gave me my receipt right there. And I said, oh shit, I'm just out money now. Oh, guy come for a fridge. Made my rent back. Not too bad. Pretty much just like $50 away from my rent. Okay, so I decided to get rid of these dishwashers. I'm not playing around with this shit. I just stay away from dishwashers. I don't learn my lesson. I just polished this one all up. And I was going, to, I was cleaning it, and I looked on this side here. There's the wheel. There was a little string on the floor. I said, What's going on here? Something's missing? Then I looked on the other side. It's missing the spring. And the rope goes over the wheel. See the spring there? And I'll show you this side. It has none. And that works. To fix this situation is to take the plastic off and fix the problem. It's a working dishwasher, but you know what? I don't waste my time with dishwashers. People want to lowball you. If I were to say 200 bucks, I'm going to give you 100. Got the leaking water. I don't want to deal with that shit. They're sharp. I just cut myself again, these stupid shits. I'll work on this. He said, no problem. I said, sorry, buddy. I hate doing this to you, but when it's missing parts, it's not worth my time. I'm not screwing around no more. Remember the last time I had the problems with the fridge missing parts? Couldn't find any parts. I'm going to deal with dishwashers. The hell with that shit. But he's good. He said, uh, I go, I know you're good for it, man. He goes, all right, I'll give you anything you want. He goes, come by my place. I think I got maybe about 30 or 40 appliances. I said, are you kidding me? Why are you telling me that for? So I might go check it out, see what he's got. Maybe he's got some stainless steel fridges, stoves, who knows. But yeah, okay. I'll get to work on this and test and see what's wrong with it. G washer, belt drive. It's done not like this one either. This doesn't have good sign. See all that rust back there? That's not good. That's a lot of rust. It's leaking somewhere. Not good. I don't know where. Shit. Shit, no more. So the drain hose is on that side. So what would be leaking over here? 
We don't know. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Let's try the agitate. It works. Okay, he's functional. Gonna find out what's going on. She spins and agitates. It's got a pretty bad, seriously, water leak. So we're gonna do some investigation. I guess you can get this looked at. She agitates and spins. A lot of rust. I mean, that's pretty thick. That's no joke. A water leak. It's not a joke. A water leak. Sure. I think that plate, oh shit, almost rotted right through. Something's leaking on that side. I can't see what's on that side. The drain system is here, and she's not as bad here. So I'm thinking, I don't know. We're gonna be able to find out, anyways. Another project, guys. Once you have the mounting tabs out, can't pull it off the washer. This is what you gotta do. One thing the leak is coming from the G the washer. The same way. The overflow flood tube. This is a pain in the ass. You gotta take the whole thing apart. Now we can take the water level pressure switch hose out from this little hole right here. Wow. Just gonna feed it through. And then we're gonna take the control panel, this mounting panel, and the back plate and carefully hang them over the side so we can work on the washer. Now we can use the 516 snut driver to take out the screws that hold the suspension straps on. It's a lot of work. Make oh sure you don't God. lose the washers. They'll come off together. Once you have the screw out, you can lift the strap off the mounting peg. The other three come off the same way. Now we can take the tub cover off. It's held in by a bunch of locking tabs. We're gonna go around and lift up on them. But as you pull on the locking tabs, you wanna push down right where they are. So you compress the seal a little it's bit. It's really dumb. I don't know why GE puts this tube in there to begin it. with. It makes no sense. Why would someone have water, wanting water to flood their basement? Once you have all the tabs released, you can lift the tub cover off and set it aside. Now that we have the tub cover off, we have access to the flood hose gasket. It's mounted on the outer tub. We're gonna reach in with our wire cutters and cut the zip tie off. If you have to, you can push it over a little bit to make some more room. And I just close that right off. Once you have the zip tie cut off, 
and pull the hose out of it. And set it down so it doesn't fall. It is zip tied down there so it should stay attached, but just make sure it doesn't fall down. Then we can reach in from behind and we wanna make sure that we support the flood hose gasket because we don't wanna drop it down in between the two tubs. Otherwise you'll have to pull the inner tub out to get it. So we're just gonna flex it so it comes off and then we can pull it out. Once you have it off the tub, you can pull it out of the washer. Here's the old flood hose gasket next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it out of Appliance Parts Pro. Okay, we just watched that video. I'll show you guys here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You can see all the rust in the corner there? See that tube there coming down? That's the overflow tube where the guy was replacing the gasket. So it's coming from that. I don't know why they have that tube there. That makes no sense. Why don't they just close the hole and don't have that thing for? Right, because you have a pressure switch would stop the water flow. So I don't know why they have that, but if you notice all the rust, it's all in that one corner there. And on that one bar there, it's rusted. So it's hit, the water is splashing onto that bar, the frame there. So that's where it's coming from. Because in the transmission case, in the bottom here, there's no water, no rust. So it's not the tub seal. It's clean. No corrosion even in the bottom pan. Just that one corner right there is rusted off. So it's the overflow flood tube, which to get to it is a pain in the ass. It sucks. You know, here there's no rust completely. It's just coming from there. So that's my suggestion, that white tube there. Now, what do we do? Take it all apart and seal the damn hole up? You can't even get it from here. It's on that corner there. So I don't think I'm gonna do what he does. I think I'm gonna take the top piece off here and then shove the tub over there and I'll get access to it. Maybe the zip tie around it came loose. It's leaking water out of it, right? Could be that. Or the, the gas kit is gone. I'm so stupid why would they have something like that? So yeah, that's the only way to fix this. And that's what it is, I'm pretty sure. It's right in the corner there. All right, see what I'm gonna do about it. I don't know why I feel like doing this today. We'll see. All right, I was able to put my hand all the way inside here, way at the back. And I can feel it right now with my hand. There's a zip tie on it. It was so loose. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the zip tie. I'm going to see if I can show you the end of it. There's a zip tie, the end of it. See me moving it? I just tightened it up so tight. It was all loose. So I just tightened it right up. And she's tight. That's it. Another thing I can do, because that's you don't really need that. That makes no sense. I can shove something up in that hole there in that pipe. And just block it off, seal it for good. Because why would you have that for? It makes no sense because the pressure switch would stop the water flow. All right, so I'm assuming if you run this washer on small, you wouldn't have a problem. Large, you probably wouldn't have a problem. Super, that's when you're gonna have the problem. The water would start to leak, right? So it makes no sense. Why would they have that for, anyways? That's why I don't like GE. But yeah, a zip tie, a tight zip tie, it's pretty sealed now. I might just clog that pipe there, seal it for good. You're not gonna have that problem again. All right, what can I use? I don't know. I will need some, like a, a putty or something that gets a putty or something, or a plug, a nice plug into it. You know those plugs you put in for the pools, underground pools, you put in, you tighten the screw, and it expands, something like that. Then I'll fill it up with some water and test it, right? And go from there guys you know where we're going guys better return these two dishwashers if I had enough of them I don't want that crap no dishwashers for me and I advise you guys to stay away from them too they're pain in the ass and I found some scrap metal rack scrap metal on the garbage I picked it up I don't know why because our scrap price is 450 metric ton. I don't know. Then they end up giving it away. Well, he says he's got a lot of stuff here. Let's check it out. 
I don't think he knows I'm, I'm coming here. <laughs> but I want to see if he's got any stainless. Oh my god, what is that? Brand new in LG in the box? Stove? Fridge? Oh my. Black fridge? Oh man. This guy doesn't stop, man. He gets all kinds. Holy shit. Let's go see the gold. Let's see what he's got. Make him an offer he can't refuse. Holy shit, he's got everything. Nice fridge. Black fridge is sale. Oh my god, what has he got? Are you kidding me? Why is he? I want this. It's because I told him I'm too full right now, so he puts him over here. Not bad shape. Holy shit, man. How come he keeps all the good stuff here? Garbage. Holy shit, a ceramic top. This looks pretty good. The seal's good on it. Look at me snooping around. Oh, nice fridge. Seal's good. It's got all the shelves. Rubber is good. Holy shit. Matching stove. Needs a good cleaning. Washers. Holy shit. Oh man, I'm gonna spend some more money, guys. I don't know about these stoves. These all have problems. If that board is screwed, the stove is fucked. Even though it's a nice set. Okay, I'm gonna ask him about the fridge. It's sitting here rotting. Washer. Let's take a quick peek here. Oh, I can't even move it. You know what? This fridge. Holy shit. This is a big fridge. Oh, this is huge. Holy shit. It's freaking huge. The seal's good. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to spend money, but I have to. Oh, it's missing a handle. Oh, no, there it is. They had to remove the handle to get it out. But she's an old fridge, eh? Oh, I don't know. She's old. What happens if she doesn't work? Then what? Am I screwed? That's a nice fridge. Another washer. Oh, another washer? Holy <laughs> shit. He's keeping them for me. What's wrong with this? Oh man, he's loaded with appliances. Okay, we want black fridge. Black fridge. White fridge. I don't know, guys. I just want to see the bottom of this. Oh, hang on, guys. You guys tell me what it looks like quick. Looks good. No oil leaks. Yeah, she looks good. The hose is getting ruined. Oh, shit. The hose. Fuck sakes. See, he ruins the planches here, the way he's got them. Just ruins them. Holy shit, what's he got here? Oh my god, another black stove. Holy shit. These, oh, it's gas. No, stay away from that shit. No more gas for me. What's this? A dryer. Okay. Oh my god, he's got more there and more and more and more. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to give him a call. Black fridge, white fridge, washer. That's my goal, I guess. I don't know what's here. Oh, more dishwashers. The good ones. Another GE. Shit, a black dishwasher. Look at me, black dishwasher. Stay away from dishwashers. Yeah. What's this one look like? I don't really like GEs. Doesn't look bad. Shit, man, are you kidding me? No, oh, she looks like pretty new. 
way better shape than mine. All right, time to talk some business here. <coughs> talk some bit. I found this big rack. What the hell am I gonna put this stuff on? Oh my God, what should I do, what should I do? Definitely the black fridge and the washer. And the GE washer. I don't know, let's give them a call. Well, I called them up. I said, hey, I'm interested in this, this, and that. He goes, I don't know. I'll have to look at it because some of that stuff is accounted for. I said, oh, okay. The good stuff is accounted for? I, I didn't even mention that he owes me for the two uh, dishwashers. But I'm sure he'll score me up sooner or later. But yeah, he said it's accounted for. So, oh well. I'll see what he gives me for the dishwashers that I just brought back to him. Heading back to the shop, guys. Stay tuned. When business is slow, we do some scrapping. Got some metal bars there off the couch. So, let's do some scrapping, guys. Make up for the lost, lost revenue. Just driving around if I see any scrap. I know there's scrap metal my, at the storage garage. On the other side, there's a Chinese restaurant that threw a bunch of metal out. So we'll go pick that up, might as well. Let's collect some scrap metal. Oh shit, I'm stuck on the door. There's a scrap metal, some wood there. I don't know what to do with the wood. Big steel cabinet. That's scrap metal. That's about it. What the hell am I doing now, scrap metaling? All right, I'm gonna go through my storage unit. There's nothing else to do, right? Get some stuff out that I haven't sold for a long time. I just scrap and make some space here. Make some freaking space. I have to get a full load of truck and take it in. This table here, uh, I should just take the legs off it, but he wouldn't give it to me. You know, you take everything. You take everything. Or don't take nothing. Fuck's sakes. All right, let's see what I can get rid of here that's having sold for years. All right, we're doing a major clean out. Got the legs off the wooden table there. Got that bent that way. Get some appliances on the back. I'll just put this as bulk date this weekend. I'll put this on my front of my building. Don't pick it up. So yeah, took all those out. I'm gonna scrap these goddamn Maytags. Get rid of it. No point of hanging up onto this shit. It's gonna pop the whole panel off. Keep the panel and scrap the rest. Scrap that. Uh, this needs a motor. I don't know if I fuck with it or just scrap the piece of shit. I don't know. This one here, I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't know. That one there hasn't sold. I'll scrap that shit, that dryer there. Little dryer doesn't sell. I'm gonna scrap that shit. I don't think it fit much crap on the truck. This still works. I hate scrapping things, but, but I gotta make some space. The rest is all good. Like, oh, I got a Kenmore dryer here, gas dryer, but it's missing the pipe from it goes into the gas inside the inside pipe. I'll scrap that too. Just take all the parts off it. All right, I've got to get busy here. Coming towards the end of the day. Let's make some space. A lot of parts we could use. The hose, lots of parts. Whole top cabinet. Even that, if I feel like taking it apart, the feet, the wheels, this thing, let's take it apart. Let's get this thing apart here. Got a lot of work. All right. This thing is expensive. That board is $800. And hundreds of them. Let's put it here, I guess, for now. The resting space spot. Do we want this sticker for advertisement? Okay, let me see. I don't know if this cord comes out. Oh, oh I figured it out. This comes with the wires, the waterfall valve. How does it come off again? All these two screws right here. Okay, we're getting there. See how Maytag tries. See how Maytag tries to screw you up. Like, who has that kind of a key? So you can't take that off. So you can't change it. Maytag. That's Maytag for you. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna screw me around, Maytag. Cause I'm gonna find that bitch and take you out. Where is it? 
I got so many tools at home in here because I'm so unorganized. I can't find shit. But I got tons and tons and tons of screwdrivers and parts and everything. That probably will work. That's too big. I think that's the size there. A bit too big. Smaller. Smaller. My oh, God. Last time I used a flat and it worked, believe it or not. Oh, there's a smaller one right here. If you don't have the tools, what are you gonna do? Call a repair guy? You bastards. Okay, where's my drill now? Oh. If you don't have the tools, we need to call a repair guy. Here we go. Okay, she's out. There we go. Brain you, plug and all. Water inlet valve. How much that go for? Four hundred dollars. Well, they keep the screws, and they come to the screws. Come buy your part. Okay, so what else? Got the drain hose, I gotta get the feet out. These rods here, they're good to get out, but you know what? I don't have the space for that crap. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna take the feet off. The lid, maybe? I don't know, not the lid. I don't have space for the lid. Even though people might need a lid, right? Oh, how much is for a new lid? This should come out, because I unhooked it in one piece. Get it out here. Forget how you pop those out. Ah, try to take the lid. Do I have space for a lid? You think I'll ever need a lid? You think someone would need a lid? I don't know. I don't know. No, I think I'll pass. It'll probably be this. I'm sure they're hard to find. Ah, damn. That son of a bitch just stabbed myself with that son of a bitch. It slipped. Oh, you fucking bastard. Jesus Christ. And believe it or not, these little things here are handy. How many times I'm messing these little pieces here? You just pop them out. They're usually on the lid side. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be okay. Oh, God damn. Mate, I. Now we're getting the bottom shit. Tell you what, they did do make good. They make good goddamn feet, that's for sure. Nice, solid, hard plastic feet. That's what they did make good. Okay, let's take the pump off. Hope that's the right socket. No, wrong socket. All screws are all different here. Let's find the right socket for that. I have lots here. Pumps are always good to have. No, wrong one is what I go through. All the freaking time. Trying to find these little goddamn sockets. That's it right there, guys. Magnetized, of course. Which is good. No complaining. Another one. Pumps are good to have. Let's get to the bottom here. Ooh, where are we here? I must have like on 50 pumps. That's it. Take out the pump. That's it. There's a pump. Just cut the damn wires. Pass it or I hope this is the right one for this. Hopefully. Yeah. Guards good to have. Belts are good to have. Motors good to have. Why? Got the belt. Belts good to have. Belt costs what? Maybe twenty bucks more. God. Okay. What else? The what's it called that again? I forget. The clutch something. That's good to have. A lot of these go on these washers. Motor. Okay. Need a Phillips. A Phillips. Get the Phillips. Oh my god. Phillips. Don't even give you light service here. No, we're not gonna give you no light so you can see. Why shouldn't we? 
What should we give you light for? It's gonna get dark by the time I'm done here. Tomorrow morning, I'll just head to the scrap yard. Two screws on this. One. Is it always good to have? Where's the other sucker? One. Come on. Is it this one? I don't think it's this one, is it? Maybe. Yep. This comes out easy. It just unhooks. So this is your shifter here. That's how it shifts. All plastic trends. This is all plastic. Plastic crap. And this here, this is what goes to. These are the gears. They just grind in there and it change that whole thing. So, okay, stay tuned. Alright. Pop the motor out. One. Two on the bottom, two bolts there. Don't drop on the ground. Try to catch it one hand. Alright. We got the motor out. Oh! There goes that. I dropped it. I'm gonna pitch. You prick. I think it's still good. Hang on. It didn't break or nothing. There's a good motor. I should have an eBay site. I can make so much money on these parts on eBay. What was that? Oh, hang on. Alright, it's good to have an. What? Oh no, it's a nut. I thought the. I thought the top broke right off. Here's your transmission. Here's your pulley. This piece here is what goes. It just push, twists off like this. All right, that's it. I'm, I'm telling you, see the gears in there? They end up stripping. And it's garbage, you gotta replace it. Takes a lot of torque on these. It comes a little spring there, what sits in here like that. So when you buy this kit, it comes like this. Just spring, and that's it. Take the flex capacitor out. Flex capacitor. Coming in the back to the future. How do you come out? I forget. How does this come out? I'm not gonna pull on it because I'm probably gonna cut myself again. I figure how we take that out. Okay, the only thing we need now is the feet and the capacitor, and we pretty much strip the thing apart. Yeah, the capacitor, you push in and turn it this way, it comes out. Feet, I use vice grips, a lot easier, faster. I don't need feet, because oh, he's just made so good, you probably never have to replace them. The only thing they make good is feet. He's strong. So we'll take the feet off. Oh my God. This is two I already stripped this week. Two May tags. Okay, I'm just switch it over. Take the rest of the parts off. Okay, I need first aid badly here. This is crazy. Everything's so fucking sharp. So I'm gonna put my gloves on. Okay, we ended up getting the rods out. Why not? These things are probably not even expensive. These, I'm not sure. I don't know. Just keep them, right? I'm gonna be doing this for a while. I must just get every damn part I need. Even though I don't want to work on Maytag no more. There's another plastic piece there. Oh my god. All that for one washer. See, I just don't want to put them. They're greasy and everything else. I'm gonna hang them somewhere. Put them in here for now. Holy shit. Parts all over the place. Oh, someone coming. Who's that? What a disaster. Whew. Okay, next is a gas Kenmore dryer. You know what? I don't even really want to sell gas dryers, you know? I don't trust gas dryers, so scrap this out too. Oh man, that's all we need for this. It's all the same shit, timer and everything for a regular dryer electric. So we keep the panel, put another panel here to the collection. Oh my God, we got light? Very light, very little. Okay, what else we need? Filters are handy always. Sometimes they're ruined, that's a nice shape. Put in the part section here. I'm running out of goddamn part sections. Uh, what else do we need here usually? That's about it. And I'm gonna get, these things are good to have. These uh, flippers, whatever you wanna call them, but we don't need them. 
the hell with it. Just the feet and that's it. Dump her out. Those things are good too. Let's just tip this down over into the, into the hole here. Holy shit, the insides too. No, I don't want it. It's gas. I'll just cut the cord off for scrap metal. Feet are not the greatest shape. Got one out here. As I put it to the collection. This one is a new foot I think I put on here. Take that out. Need to have these made like crap. I think that's it, man. Need one more. Don't need no more. Oh, that's no good. It's garbage stripped. Okay, let's load this sucker up. Okay. This table's kind of my way. Let me see if I can get it in there. Okay. Making some space. I'm putting nothing here. I'm leaving this open. Winter is coming. If I'm stuck here, man, I need some space to work. That's it. A few more. Just, like, cut this. Get rid of all this shit. Keep this as a workshop. I'm keeping this space. No more crowding for me. I'm not going to deal like that no more. I don't know what else to throw out. I can't throw these parts. They have to be all organized. Bins. I need bins. I don't know if I should get rid of this. Just strip it. I got a lot of dryers. I really need more shit here. I don't know what else. That. That's good. That's good. That's good. This one here, I'm waiting for a cabinet. It's a drug drive washer. Whirlpool. Cabinet's disgusting. I try to paint it. It's no good. Cabinet's garbage. Oh, what else? What else? I don't know for now. For now, I'll leave it like this. I don't know. I don't even have space to put that on there right now. All right, let's call it a day. I'm tired out now. Put this in the back here and I'll chuck that out. Put everything back. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta get out of here, man. It's getting late. I gotta go feed my doggy. Oh, put this back for now like this. Holy shit. Fucking, this goddamn generator is even heavy. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Fast stripping, huh? Okay. Holy shit. Made some space. Big load for tomorrow morning. Go dump this shit. Alright. Maybe I'll drive down some streets, see if I can fill the rest up. Might as well get a full load, right? Get some in here, get some in there. Why not?